in short, the summer is still uncertain. We're not sure how La Nina may impact our northwest summer. Of course, La Nina being the cold phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. That is an alternating warming and cooling of the equatorial Pacific. And for the last year or so, those Pacific waters have been running slightly cooler than average. And that La Nina temperature signal is favored to continue into our summer. Um, so as you know, we are currently in a La Nina pattern. Um, what that tends to mean for us is cooler and wetter winter seasons. This much has happened. Rainfall since October 1st has been above average, and we're closing the books on one of the wettest and coolest Aprils on record here in Portland. Chris Burling is a forecaster at the National Weather Service office in Portland. Um, unfortunately, as we start to go towards summer, there is less of a correlation historically on what La Nina means for summer. Our current La Nina started in late 2020, and then we all remember what happened last June. Three consecutive days of all-time record heat, topping out at a blistering 116 degrees. We also registered 24 90-degree days last summer, almost double our 30-year average. Rewind a few years to 2017-2018, coming out of a week La Nina, PDX registered its hottest summer on record with 31 90-degree days. But if you go back a little further, the summers of 2011-2012 were also La Nina summers, and those were considered a little cool. We didn't register our first 90-degree day in 2011 until August 20th. There is a lot of variability, and uh, indeed the Climate Prediction Center right now is forecasting for our three-month outlook uh, an equal chance of warmer than average and cooler than average. And for the record, the average number of 90-degree days in Portland each summer is 12.5, and rainfall is usually pretty sparse, just over an inch for both July and August combined. So the late, cool, wet spring is helpful. It certainly helps to have a wetter and cooler start in terms of fire weather season and the snowpack and the cascades. Fire season, of course, can ratchet up very quickly, and with central and southern Oregon still suffering from extreme drought, a slight change to warmer weather could greatly increase fire potential there, and of course, smoke here then locally.